After sharing a preview of the Chevrolet Equinox as part of its CES 2022 EV Blitz in January 2022, General Motors revealed the Pure Electric Compact SUV on September 8, 2022. The all-new Equinox EV slots between the Bolt EUV and Blazer EV in the Gold Bowties Electric SUV lineup and will begin reaching dealers towards the end of the year. Although it wears the Equinox nameplate, the Chevrolet Equinox EV has little else in common with that compact SUV. Here's all the information we have on the all-electric Equinox. But before we dive in, we would like to remind you that, as always, we have a bonus fact for you lovely viewers towards the very end of this video. With that being said, let's get into more detail about what this brand new release has to offer. On its own, the 2023 Chevy Equinox is a competent mainstream compact SUV. Even the base LS trim offers plenty of popular features, including a myriad of infotainment and safety tech. The design of the Equinox is inoffensive, and its generously sized interior affords a lot of room for passengers and cargo. It's more playful to drive than its looks suggest. For 2023, the Chevy Equinox receives only minor changes. Three of the eight available paint colors are new this year, as is the switch from a conventional vacuum-boosted brake system to an electronically-assisted system that Chevrolet refers to as E-Boost. Chevy also rolls out Sport and Midnight editions for the base LS model. GM will manufacture the Chevrolet Equinox EV alongside the Blazer EV at its Ramos Arispe, Mexico plant. The company halted production there for six weeks in early 2022 to streamline processes for future EV production, reported local Mexican news outlet Socalo on March 24, 2022. GM Mexico stated that new equipment, including robots, would arrive during the production break and engineers would work on converting existing systems for future EV products. The 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV will be on sale in the United States in the autumn of 2023. Only the limited edition 2RS trim will be available at launch. GM has placed the new electric SUV on Chevrolet.com, where potential buyers may learn more about it and sign up for launch information. The Chevrolet Equinox EV will be priced starting at $30,000 US dollars, but only when the 1LT version is available. The battery pack will come with an 8-year, 100,000-mile limited warranty as standard. The Equinox EV will be offered in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive variants, with a GM-estimated range of up to 300 miles. A single motor produces 210 horsepower and 242 pound-feet of torque in front-wheel drive variants. Two motors produce 290 horsepower and 346 pound-feet of torque in the E all-wheel drive variants. One pedal driving is standard and is capable of bringing the EV to a complete stop. The Equinox EV has a towing capacity of 1,500 pounds thanks to optional trailering equipment. An 11.5 kilowatt level 2 AC onboard charger will be standard, with a 19.2 kilowatt level 2 AC onboard charger available. The former can add up to 34 miles of GM estimated range in one hour, while the latter can add up to 51 miles of GM estimated range at the same time. The Equinox EV also supports DC fast charging at up to 150 kilowatts, which can add up to 70 miles of GM estimated range in 10 minutes. The Chevrolet Equinox EV is built on GM's new BEV3 architecture, which offers significant improvements over the BEV2 platform on which the Bolt EUV is built. The BEV3 can be readily converted to front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or e-all-wheel drive drivetrains. However, the BEV2 can only be converted to front-wheel drive. Because the new platform supports a dual-motor and e-all-wheel drive combination, the Equinox EV can pack more punch. 
The Equinox's cabin is nicely styled and put together from durable materials. Both front and rear seat passengers should find themselves comfortable in the spacious interior, with enough amenities to keep them content on longer trips. The cabin features plenty of cup holders, but most interior luxuries are offered as either optional equipment for LT models or standard content on RS and Premier models. For a sleek and basic interior, GM designers avoided using buttons whenever possible. The EV does offer physical controls for basic operations such as temperature and airflow adjustment, which some customers find useful. The round air conditioning vents on the flanks add to the EV's athletic appearance, as do the quadrilateral air conditioning vents above the climate control panel. The cabin has multiple charging connections. There are currently two USB Type-C connectors in the front center console and two more below the rear air vents. The Equinox EV includes a hands-free start system, so to start it, the driver simply enters it with the key fob and taps the brake. The headlight controls are neither on a steering stalk nor in a control panel to the left of the steering wheel. GM has integrated them into the infotainment system's touchscreen. A 7-inch touchscreen displays Chevrolet's MyLink infotainment interface atop Equinox's dash. The system continues to impress with its ease of use and quick responses. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, as are Bluetooth phone and audio streaming, USB connectivity, and an auxiliary input jack. Standard 4G LTE onboard Wi-Fi makes the Equinox one of the best connected crossovers. The Equinox EV has a curved hood, an animated full-width LED DRL strip, a closed nose section with a black surround that has C-shaped outer ends and horizontal primary lights, and a small lower grille. The Equinox EV sports standard 19 to 21 inch wheels and flush door handles on the sides, though we're not sure if the latter is a feature intended for production. Notable designs include powerful shoulders and thick C-pillars. In comparison to the Equinox gas vehicle, the Chevy Equinox EV appears smaller. In terms of size, it seems to be closer to the Trailblazer and the longer wheelbase is easily seen. The SUV was designed entirely from scratch by GM. The absence of the wraparound rear window and the small overhangs clearly distinguish it from the combustion model, giving it an entirely different silhouette. The Equinox EV has a sharply sloped windscreen, a concave lower tailboard with a hexagonal surface, a hexagonal registration plate area, and wide combination lamps that meet the company emblem with a slim extension and include animation at the back. Despite its reduced size, the Equinox EV appears energetic. In addition, there is an RS option for consumers who prefer a more sporty appearance. The 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV will come standard with several safety features and sophisticated driver assistance systems including Chevrolet Safety Assist, Following Distance Indicator, Forward Collision Alert, Front Pedestrian Braking, and Automatic Emergency Braking. Lane Keep Assist with Lane Departure Warning, IntelliBeam Automatic High Beams, Rear Park Assist, Reverse Automatic Braking, Safety Alert Seat, Rear Cross Traffic Braking, and Blind Zone Steering Assist are also some of the included features. Optional features include adaptive cruise control, HD surround vision with a 360-degree camera, a head-up display, and a rear camera mirror. Super Cruise, which permits semi-autonomous driving on more than 400,000 miles of suitable highways in the United States and Canada, will also be accessible. When Super Cruise is engaged, a green light bar appears on the steering wheel. Thank you for staying with us, dear viewers. It's now time for the bonus fact. A development prototype of the all-new Equinox EV was spied conducting real-world trials in cold weather conditions, GM Authority reported on February 6, 2023. 
The white test mule appears to be fitted with pre-production bumpers with cautionary high-visibility stickers on the side and rear corners. The prototype's five-spoke alloy wheels and flush door handles instantly stand out. What are your thoughts on the list of amazing safety features the Equinox has to offer? Comment down below and let us know all about it. If you enjoyed the content, uplift the channel by hitting like, subscribe, and also ring the YT bell to meet us again in the following video. Until next time!